is this a win-win for retailers and consumers? I think on the retailer side of things, it's definitely beneficial, even though they're partnered um, with a third party, just because the consumer, when they're shopping online, um, the friction is greatly reduced, just because we're able to put a whole bunch of different items into one shopping cart, which you know decreases um, cart abandonment, which I know a lot of times if I'm going to buy things from multiple retailers, I'll end up just buying on the site that you know I have the most um, items that I want to purchase in. And if I only want one or two things from somewhere else, you know, I'll just try to get them in store or I'll just find something comparable elsewhere. So I think that's extremely important um, just to get consumers coming back. Plus the retailer still gains uh, the information and data about what the consumer bought, what they were looking at, um, and the basket size. So they're still getting all those analytics there that they can use to target them in the future. And on the consumer facing side of things, like I said before, they're less likely to abandon their carts. They can put everything in one place and they don't really have to check out so many times. And you just input the information once and then subsequently it only takes one or two taps, hence two tap. So I think it's really intuitive and great and there's a whole bunch of applications like it. Keep is really similar, but it's more for clothing and fashion. And I think that two tap really encompasses a lot more industries. Um, aside from fashion, such as home furnishings um, and things of that nature. So I think, you know, it's really the largest universal shopping cart out there with about 200 plus retailers on board so far. And they have a really, really lot of great investors. So I think we're going to see a lot of great things to come and it's definitely not the last time you're going to hear from them.